He introduces it as an imitation report, but within moments, panic spreads across the country. The presenter says that Russian tanks have entered Georgia, and viewers are shown these pictures. The images are in fact from the 2008 war, but as viewers are told that the Russian Air Force is also now involved, many begin to fear the worst. The station then cuts to a talk show and apologizes for the panic the reporters caused, but outside, angry and confused Georgians were already demanding answers. The station says it was trying to show the real threat of how events might unfold, but few will be thanking them for the chaos it created. Is this an example of, uh, is this the Georgian bubble? Or with an example of just how wrong the programme can go if the wrong producer's in charge? <laughs> <laughs> they did invent that. Well, there are, there are parallels yeah, with this what I'm show. Saying, just but... be careful, Mitchell, that's what I'm saying. Right, <laughs> yes. Well, you know, that was certainly BBC News's feeling, was yeah. that, uh, <laughs> is that this show could cause mass panic because I'm so plausible. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit like a sort of, what was that... Oh, no, I'm going War to show my War of the Worlds. That, like, so the it was like a sort of military War of the Worlds. Or Ghost Watch, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that takes me back. No. Pipes. What? Doesn't take him back. Go Ghost Watch. Yes, what? do you remember There's that? a thing with Sarah Green. Really ill-judged Halloween thing. But they, they everyone know. thought that she'd been killed. And Michael Aspel hosted it from the studio and there was a poltergeist called Pipes. You don't remember that? Oh, come on, man. No, hang on, this is quite... <laughs> we've reversed this. It's like, I've been in some sort of bubble and I don't know about... It's it's not not Michael Aspel and Sarah Green yeah. and everyone thought she was dead and yeah. what? And everyone thought, everyone in Britain thought it was real. I remember watching it, I was terrified. <laughs> a ghost called... Pipes. pipes. Yeah. He As in, in the, the plural pipes. of pipe. Come yeah. on, Grandad, you must remember that. No. <laughs> no, he's you like must have taken breaks between your Latin homework at some time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember what I've watched a lot of Knight Rider. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, do you know what? I didn't believe it was true. <laughs> but I, obviously, if I'd seen a thing with Sarah Green and a ghost called Pipes, I would have <laughs> shat myself. <laughs> so, here's story A. This is the news that a new lipstick has gone on sale that changes colour when women are turned on. In tests, it led to a number of sexual assaults on clowns. <laughs> um, <laughs> Josie, does that look plausible to you? Is that a product you think you... <laughs> It doesn't look plausible, but I do like the idea of clowns being sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Global hypercolour, that came and went. Global hypercolour? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Sorry, is this, is this what pipes used to wear? <laughs> what? Isolated. My education was not a 15-year bubble. <laughs> What's global hypercolour? Oh, it was t-shirts that amazing. had a heat-sensitive dye in them so that people could put... <laughs> don't look at me like that. People could put hot hands on a t-shirt and you would see their hands in colour where and they And then were. if your dad wore one and danced, it would... Yeah, it would sweat. sweat. Yeah, it would all go multicoloured under your armpits. Well, why aren't all clothes like that? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Really so the idea is it's a T-shirt that could sort of sh show if you're a bit sweaty yeah. and if someone's groped you. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or cords. I'm sure they could make it with cords. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mock the cords. <laughs>